Flipping is one of the best ways to earn money in Hypixel Skyblock, but what if you limited yourself to only 10 flips? How much could you make if you started with a single dirt block? 100,000? A million? 5 million? My name is Strategy Tree, and I consider myself one of the best flippers out there. I set out to prove that by taking on this challenge. The rules are simple. I can only start with a dirt block, I can only do 10 flips, and I have to try and reach 5 million coins. One thing to clarify is that anything bought in a group still counts as one flip. This goes for books or craft flips too. If I purchase 16 tier 1 books, combine them to tier 5 and sell them, that counts as one flip. Now that the rules are clear, let's begin. But first things first, I had to make sure that my new profile truly had nothing. So after unlocking the bazaar, I immediately threw all of my items into the void. Then I jumped into the void 21 times to make sure I had no coins. I picked up the dirt block that would start this challenge, sold it for one coin, and got to work. This challenge was going to be difficult. You know what else is difficult? Not having the YouTube rank, which requires 30,000 subscribers. If you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing, as it would help me out immensely. With that out of the way, we can get back to making money. My first flip was buying a single thing of rotten flesh for one coin and selling it back to the bazaar for five coins. This gave me some capital to work with. With a starting balance above 1, I could now purchase 5 ice blocks from the builder for 1 coin each. These pieces of ice sold to the bazaar for about 6 coins each, giving me a new balance of 74. I continued my NPC flipping by purchasing 5 slime balls for 14 coins each, and selling this to the bazaar for 59 coins each. This sell order actually filled instantly, giving me a profit of 225 coins. It's important to note that with such a small balance, it's hard for me to find highly profitable flips in the bazaar which is why I had to use these NPC flips early on in the challenge. From there, I ran over to Pat in the graveyard and tried to purchase flint, but I got chased by some zombies. Since I had no armor or weapons, this was a scary moment for me, and I made the wise decision to run away as fast as I could. Also, for some reason, I thought I had picked up an extra 4 coins, so I put those in the bank, giving me a new balance of 291.9 coins. Now, I could finally buy some flint. I bought 48 flint for 6 coins each. I promptly sold these to the bazaar for 37.5 coins each, giving me a profit of 1,512 coins. After 4 flips, I finally had a balance of over 1,000 coins. With this, I bought 198 packed ice for 9 coins each, and sold this to the bazaar for 91.9 coins each, which filled immediately. This gave me a profit of 16,414 coins. With 5 flips complete, the challenge is now halfway over, and I don't even have 20,000 coins. Reaching 5 million in only 5 more flips is a daunting task, but now that I had a decent amount of money, I could finally start doing some higher end flips. And that's exactly what I did. Starting with buying 16 Turbo Cane 1 books for 2,800 coins, I then ran over to the blacksmith and used his anvil to combine them into a Turbo Cane 5 book, which sold for 163,000 coins. This was a profit of 5,700%. This opened up my options, and I decided to take a gamble. I tried to buy 8,000 experience bottles for 21.4 coins each because people were buying them for over 140 coins each. The reason this was a gamble was because if the price of experience bottles dropped, I would make significantly less money. Also, my order was only partially filled, so I had 5,488 experience bottles rather than 8,000. I claimed these and tried to sell them to take advantage of the high prices, but the price had already dropped. I was finally able to sell these for 54.5 coins, bringing me to a balance of 356,000. This was disappointing, as I had hoped to make much, much more, but I guess that's why it was a gamble. With that trade behind me, I went back to the profitable book flips and bought 16 Turbo Potato 1 books for a total of 320,000. I sprinted back over to the anvil turned these into a Turbo Potato 5 book, and sold it back to the bazaar for just under 1.1 million coins. This was a huge profit for me. This led me to a simple item that turned into my most complex flip. I was a little unsure of what to do next. I considered enchanted wood, enchanted sand, and even clay. Eventually, I decided that emeralds were the way forward. I could buy them for 6.5 coins, and they were selling for almost 26 coins each. I placed two orders to buy a total of 143,360 emeralds. Buying them wasn't the issue, as they filled in about 5 minutes. But in those 5 minutes, somebody had taken the price from 22 coins down to 15 coins out of nowhere. 
I used the flip order feature on one of my two orders to sell them for 14.9 per and waited. And waited and waited. While waiting, I had found an exciting new opportunity for my final flip. I went back once again to the books where I discovered that Turbo Coco 5 books were selling for 3.4 million, but I could buy 16 Turbo Coco 1 books for only 24,000. If I could pull this off, this would be one of my most profitable flips ever. The issue was that these books were competitive, and I was constantly getting outbid. With some patience and relisting my buy orders about 20 times, I finally got filled. I immediately ran over to the anvil for a third time, combined them as fast as I could, and placed a sell order in the bazaar. By this time, it was getting late, and I had to sleep. I was worried that the price of the books would plummet overnight, but when I woke up the next morning, I found that my book had actually sold. I had successfully pulled off a flip that made me a 14,000% profit. This was insane. While that was going on, my emeralds had nearly all sold for a 1.1 million profit. I relisted the remaining 1,000 emeralds, and when that filled, the challenge was officially over. After two days of work, I ended with a balance of 5 million, 637,760 coins, which made this challenge a huge success. Although I was worried, we managed to come through in the end. The book flips were what made it possible. If you took on this challenge, do you think you could do better? What would be your strategy? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. If you want to see my content live, I stream on Twitch three days a week. The link is in the description. I hope to see you there.